Uh, this is a very good example of excellent prairie chicken habitat, which is a combination of shrubs and taller grasses. We have a, a good population of lesser prairie chickens, which is a, one of the few places you can come and see the numbers we have. No, the airheads were right over there on the other side. Uh, my granddad bought this ranch in uh, 1947, 48. And my granddad operated then my dad, and then uh, I started when he died. I was 23 years old. Been here ever since. Cattle's our income, and has been for several generations. That's, we're cattle people, that's what we've done. We do turkey hunting for fee, and deer hunting for fee. And then we have birding. We have people come watch prairie chickens. Nature tourism and hunting and ranching, they're all compatible. It's not an either or thing at all for me. He's one of the few landowners that kind of gets the total picture. He's not a guy that bought the place just for wildlife and runs a few cattle, and he's not a rancher that just put up a few deer feeders and calls himself a wildlife manager. I think he's a true prairie ecologist. Jim Bill was one of the first to put his land in a conservation easement, and conservation easements are a fairly uncommon land protection tool up here. They haven't yet gained wide acceptance. The conservation easement helps us achieve what my wife Deborah and I both wanted to do, to make this available to our grandkids and, and future generations. My goal is to have it available for years, not be cut up and sold off in small places and small pieces. Not only is he a good land steward, he's a good businessman. When those two come together, you know, we have conservation for long term and that's really what it's all about.